Jeb Bush, speaking to the Union Leader newspaper in New Hampshire, was talking about his plan. He wants economic growth. He says, elect Jeb Bush president, and we will soon have economic growth in the 4% rate. So the newspaper asked, how do you get there, Governor? We have to be a lot more productive. Workforce participation has to rise from its all-time modern lows. It means that um, people need to work longer hours and, and through their productivity gain more income for their families. That's the only way we're going to get out of this rut that we're in. People need to work longer hours. At the Democratic National Committee and at the Clinton campaign, that was the ding, ding, ding. Uh, they thought maybe they had the new 47 percent. Right. They had a Republican candidate who sounded insensitive to American workers or was insulting American workers, saying workers aren't out there working hard enough. Look at this tweet from the Hillary Clinton campaign. Anyone who believes Americans aren't working hard enough hasn't met American workers. Uh, here's the issue, though. Uh, Governor Bush, same day, says, no, wait a minute. That's not what I was talking about. If you look at the full context, Keep us from, from taking it out of context. What, you're, what you meant to say was, when you say more hours, you mean given the opportunity full -time to work. work. Yeah, not absolutely. Not that a full-time guy Look, or somebody who has two jobs needs to be working even more time. Absolutely not. Um, their income needs to grow. You see the shake of the head there. His, he says his point was, and he says in the union leader interview, you read the whole thing, it was pretty clear, that a lot of people in this recovery are working part-time jobs or two part-time jobs because they can't get a 40-hour-a-week full-time job with benefits, and that's what he meant. You need to get more people into the 40 hours. Are the Democrats taking this out of context, fair or unfair? It, it, they are taking it out of context. <laughs> yeah, of it actually reads a little desperate. Does that ever happen in politics? It's so <laughs> weird. <laughs> but it does. I mean, they're looking so hard for that one sound bite that's going to knock out Jeb Bush. And I don't think this one is it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they'll keep looking, uh, as you said. But you do have to be more careful totally. uh, right. if you're Jeb Bush with, with how you're talking, uh, particularly around this issue, particularly after we saw right. uh, 2012. Per particularly, he's a Bush. He's from a dynasty. He's from a very wealthy family. Uh, so, so yeah, he's got to he's got to be a little bit more careful. I, I do think this whole idea about talking about workers and uh, automatically goes to the question of wages and minimum right. wage, and that's something where I think Democrats do mm. have something of an edge because right. they're the ones pushing for a higher. Right. They're going to make they're going to make the case that if you've got an investment account, if you've got a hedge fund, or even if you just you know have a 401k, you've done pretty well. What yeah. about the worker? This should be the election. The economy changed to base on the worker.